Okay. You see there's a orange fleck. But, but what I'll have is I'll have I'll probably plant like a row of some shrubs or something along down through here. Oh, the, yeah, that would be so, pretty. And then there'll be a separation line like that, and then with my driveway on this other side. I will plant those kind of the trees that they grow right nicely, mm -hmm. but they're all year. They don't fail of any like leaves. Leland cypress, something like yes. that. Yes, and, and you don't need to plant too close because they grow up so fast. Right. And right. they look like a green fence. That, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm planning to put out. Because so. I have one client, they put it up. It's just pretty, and he doesn't see the neighbor. The neighbor actually is not far, <laughs> and that thing I thought they grow for a long time. It's only five years. It was um, 12 feet. Right. Uh, one of my neighbors over there, he planted some, and then after just a few years, they really grew fast. Mm-hmm. And I guess one of the people do not know you can't plant them too close. They planted too close. Actually, we killed them. Right. Yeah, you have to go back and cut some out or something, I guess. <laughs> well, actually, I think it's enough space, actually, to build a tennis court as long as you can level this. You'd have to, you know, you could, it, they could do anything. I mean, I'd get be, enough dirt in here. You, you would have to, you'd have to have some dirt brought in and maybe some cut out, you know, mm -hmm. whichever way you want to go about it. Now, those trees, do you cut them, Henry? What's that? Those trees, are you the one who cut them down? Um, they were uh, pines. Mm -hmm. I wanted all the pines going off of here, so they, they cut all the pines off. Some of the pines were looking like they were a little diseased. Oh, oh, the and pie I beetles? Uh, and I didn't, uh, I didn't want them falling on the house or anything later on, so. Mm. That's a big piece of 